Hey guys, Trace Waters here, and we're looking at a 50 watt LED, and it's on top of an old Xbox 360 heatsink. I've gotten sick of taking the Xbox part, fix the red ring of death over and over, so I just decided to get a new Xbox and, and part the old one out. And this is a pretty good match here because these 50 watt LEDs put out quite a bit of heat. So what we want to do is, since I'm going to be using this to grow plants, I'm going to be hanging it upside down. Therefore, I've got to anchor it to this heat sink. Not only for that reason, but also we want even heat dissipation to keep from damaging our LED here. Now you can see that I've already put in two screws. And so I'm going to be demonstrating how to tap the heat sink and put in screws on the other two. So what we're going to need to do that is first we're going to need a drill and a bit. This is actually an English measurement bit and it's 7 64ths. What I have here and the only kit I found at the store I went to for tapping was a metric one. So this is actually a 3 millimeter M3 that we're going to be using to make the hole in this. Um, we can use the English and the metric mix because this is smaller. Now that's the key. You want smaller. You don't want to go bigger or it won't tap the hole. Okay? And then I've got the screws. These are three millimeter screws for the holes that are in the LED. Okay, the other thing we're going to need is oil. This happens to be actually rifle oil. That's what I had laying around, so that's what I'm going to use. It's good enough for my guns, and it's good enough for my heat sink. Uh, they do make specific tap oil. I don't know what the difference is, but this will work just fine. <coughs> and um, then a screwdriver. Now, these screws are actually Phillips heads, and these are flat heads. doesn't make a difference. Just so make sure you have the right one. Okay, so what will make your life easier drilling, just I put a little bit of oil on the tip, not too much because I don't want it dripping all over my LED. So what I'm going to do is make sure this is going straight down, or as straight down as possible. And I'm going to start drilling. Okay, so that looks to be deep enough. Now, there's nothing wrong with going deeper than the screw, but uh, you don't want to go too shallow. Not a big deal if you do, you just have to drill back out, but you also have to re-tap it, and that could cause problems. So I'm just going down to that stop. Again, make sure you're going far enough for your screws here, okay? So I'm gonna do a quick clean off. Get rid of these shavings. Okay. Now we got our tap here. And I'm going to do the same thing for that. I'm going to spray a little bit of this oil on. Okay, going to put it in the first hole. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure to kind of get it started. And again, we want to make sure we're going as straight up and down as possible. I think I hit bottom there. 
and then we're just unscrewing it on its way out, okay? Put a little bit more oil for the next hole. Again, trying to get it as straight up and down as possible. And applying a little bit of pressure. Until it starts going in on its own. Now your local hardware store should have a, a die and tap set. Uh, actually though I went to the to the blue one, searched around for about 20 minutes, could not find a die and tap set anywhere. And it just so happens a good friend of mine, old friend of mine works there and uh, so said, hey where's your die and tap set? We don't have that, he says. So. Keep that in mind, I, maybe your local blue store has it, but uh, I had to go elsewhere. And then I just went to my small town hardware store to uh, get the metric screws. Okay, I think I hit bottom, we'll find out here in a second if we did a good job or not. It might not be too deep enough, but so there's only one way to find out. Okay, pop and screw in. All right. We'll get this side. All right, there you have it. We have our LED anchored down, and um, that's all there is to it. So, if you have any comments, please share. If you got something out of this video, please like or subscribe. I'll be having plenty more videos on, on this sort of thing and all other types of subjects as well. So, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Take care. God bless, and we'll see you next time.